Shalom, my brothers and my sisters. As you all know, we're counting the Omer, right? And I was just looking at um, uh, Exodus <clears throat> when they came out of uh, Mitzrayim, Egypt, right? And uh, so it's Exodus 16. It's all, it's all of it, really, because I'm writing it out, and it's really awesome, you know? And it's like so many revelations. I just wanted to share with you what I just received just now, uh, very just like a second ago, and uh, this and that. All right. So, um, uh, you know, they come out of Egypt, right? And like one of the first super tests to see whether they know, keep Yahu, walk in Yahuwah's Torah or not is... Um, to see if they know how to count, right? You know, seven days, basically. So it's like, uh, Exodus 16, 4, you know, I'm just going to read the scriptures, uh, just find them, you know, it's like right around this area, Exodus 16, and that's it. This is an Exodus 16, basically. See, and Yahuwah said to Moshe, right? 16, 4. See, I am raining bread from the Shamaim for you. And the people shall go out and gather it, a day's portion every day, in order to try them, whether they walk in my Torah or not. Bam. So simple. And then, and it keeps going. I mean, obviously, you know, if you keep reading. <laughs> and it shall be on the sixth day, right, that they shall prepare what they bring in and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily hmm. and moshe and aaron said to all the children of israel that evening you shall know that yahuwah has brought you out of the land of mitzrayim and in the morning you shall see the esteem of yahuwah for he hears your grumblings against yahuwah and what are we that you grumble against us. And Moshe said, mm, and that Yahuwah gives you meat to eat. This is because they were complaining, so they got coiled. But, you know, check it out. Mm, obviously. And meat to eat in the evening and in the morning, bread to satisfaction for Yahuwah. Here's your grumbling, which you make against him. And what are we? Your grumblings are not against us, Babayam, but against Yahuwah. So we got to be careful who we're grumbling. You know, a lot of times we grumble against the people, but we got to love you know, the people because Yahuwah says, love Yahuwah with all your mind, soul, and strength, but and love each other as, as yourself. You know, love one another. Basically, the whole point is that when we're grumbling, we're not showing Yahuwah the love that he deserves against each other, I guess. You know, and we're all guilty. We're all guilty. So, let's, now that we know, let's turn that around for Yah's glory in all of our lives. Thank you, Father. Mm, come on. All right, and it keeps going. It keeps going. Yeah. And Moshe said to Aaron, say, so we got Moshe Giving, you know, having a Mashiach speak for him, you know, as Yahuwah having Mashiach speak for him, you know, and all the prophets and all, you know, all his anointed, obviously, obviously, right? Say to the, to all the congregation of the children of Israel, come near before Yahuwah. And he has heard your grumblings, for he has heard your grumblings. And it came to be as Aaron spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness. I thought this was really cool. I just read it. And see the esteem of Yahuwah up here in the cloud. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe saying, I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel. Speak to them. Saying, between the evenings, you are to eat me. And in the morning, you are to be satisfied with bread. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. So I was thinking about this between the evening. It's like, he's saying at night, this night, you know, he's not saying both evenings, nights, right? Because in the morning, you're going to get bread, you know? So between the evening is that night. That's it, you know? Because I was um, thinking about that because it has to do with 
other parts that says between the evenings. And it says, I, I love that part between, or the, the word bain is between, which is ben <laughs> with the yod in it. So it's bait yod noon. And I thought, you know, it's like the hand of your, you know, we know the hand represents Yahushua inside the sun. So I don't know, I, to me, it's just like, whoop, you know, and it means to between. And it's the same uh, word when it says that he put the father, the father's name between the forehead, you know. So it's like, and this he's dividing between, between uh, evening and morning. So it's like that Yahushua is connected to everything. And all right. There's more. I mean, obviously. But if you keep going, mm -hmm, I, I'm just going to skip 12 and 13 and uh, 15 and 14 and 15. But you could read it, obviously, unless you want to hear me read it. You know, I don't read as good as you, probably. But look at number 16. I just thought this part was really cool. Huh? This is the word which Yahuwah has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need. And Omer... <laughs> Oh my goodness. For each being, according to the number of beings, let every man take for those who are in his tent. And Omer. So we see the counting of the shub, the, of this, this process to, to, perf to see if they walk in his Torah or not. In my Torah, says Yahuwah. Because there's another Torah, right? It's uh, the Torah that I make. It's my instructions. So am I walking in Yahuwah's instructions? Or am I making up my instructions, right? Um, for Yeah. So Yahuwah has um, put this situation where the manna comes down, right? And now, um, as we were counting for Shabbat, now we keep Shabbat because we understand, right? Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not on the first day, but it's on the seventh day. You know, count it as you will, and hopefully, you know, you get to the right day. <laughs> All right. So, and uh, it's the seventh day, and, and how this counting situation had to do with keeping it my Torah, says Yahuwah, right? I just said that. Now, in, we have, uh, we have um, counting of the Omer, and it's like a way for the bride to be... Tested to see if we keep my Torah says Yahuwah, right? Like the same principle. So we, the, if when there's counting involved, um, it would have to be a, a testing to see whether we keep his Torah or not, you know? And I just thought that situation was super cool. And I like that word Omer right here. And Exodus 16, 16. I love that. When it when when the numbers align, like 16, 16, 17, 17, 19, 18, I always find it really, really cool. Alright. Ya bless you. Shalom.